Oh, good evening, folks. This is Jeffra Hawthorne. Jeffra Hawthorne LP. That LP stands for Locomotive Professional. That's right. I've been riding the rails for 37 years. And I thought it was about time I shared some of these experiences with you fine folks. Today, I thought I'd talk about my first day on the job. When I first got on the locomotive. Brought one of my crow dads with me too. I'll get on more on that in a minute. But anyways, my life changed from that day on. Let's get things started, shall we? Oh, holy shit, this must be the place. Uh, looks like I got something telling me to do something here. I got instructions to go in here. Apparently we gotta go get our license validated or something like that. Oh, this is a heck of a thing to have to do here. I had a great government job, and now I gotta go drive this stinking train. That's all they could get for me. You'd think working in a secret government test facility for ten years would get you something better than that, but they screw you in the end. Well, what can you do? Alright, let's see here. Let's take a look. Do you take this booklet? Okay, alright. All right, got blah 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 blah. All right. Oh look at that! Holy hell! They just gave me a lot of money. That is a hell of a signing bonus if I ever saw one. All right, let's let's put let's put that away. Hang on a second. Oh, we gotta enter. We gotta enter as a locomotive. Apparently, that's what the boss is telling me. Ah, uh, hell. I guess this might be a little bit better than working with dangerous wildlife. I mean, heck, we were experimenting on different animals left and right, and the most dangerous of the two, of course, being the coyote and the crawdad. It freaking three-foot crawdads. All right, hang on a second. Have a look at the... Have a look at the man... How? Oh, okay, hang on. Well, apparently that door don't really exist, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. Oh, we have a quick start guide for this beast. Let's take a, let's take a closer look. Flip up the fuse box switches. Oh, hell, that's them right there. Oh, wait a minute. I probably have to put this thing down. All right, so we, we're gonna do that. Then there's an ignition. There's an ignition for the engine right there. Push reverser to forward position. Where's that thing at? Hang on, hang on. We gotta find where that is. Oh, I think I see this. That little thing right there. Gotta twist that thing around. It looks like it is in the forward position right now. If I had to guess. Perhaps not. We can fix that when we need to, though. There is the handbrake up here, so when the brake... Okay, it is in the the loose position right now. Perhaps, perhaps not. All right, hang on. So that's the brake. There's the throttle right there. Oh, Jesus, that's what we wanted right there. You don't see him right now. I got a pet crawl dead with Miss Scrappy. Scrap is really excited right now. It's just a little guy. I couldn't bring one of the biggins with me in here. They thought that would be a little bit weird, so I had to pick one of the little guys, put him in my pocket. I just could I could not leave that place without a few of my boys coming with me. Alright, so we got the throttle right there. Alright, to stop, apply the brake. No shit. Track switch and aim remote laser at the switch sign. Click the red button. All right, how to couple the cars. Get close to a car if in range, press couple. No. Or we can do, we can do right here. I think it's this, this thing right here. Definitely. How to uncouple the cars. Select a car using the selector. Press uncouple. All right, if we're overheating, reduce the throttle. We can do that. 
the claw the sand, the sand button is a little but hang on, it actually says sand, right? It can't get more, more easier than that, it looks like. Alright. Supposedly they gave me a little re remote control. I don't know, I don't see no remote. Hang on, let's start the engine. File the ignition procedure as shown in the manual. Perhaps they will give it to me once I get this thing up and running. The boss will just come out and he'll hand it to me really quick and go, There you go, Jeffrey. You go out and you use that thing. That's what I'm hoping for. All right. That one, that one, and the red one. Red one looks like it should always be done last, so remember that. Oh. Oh, you hear that? Oh, you hear that? That's what I'm talking about right there. Go time. That's full. That's full. Full. Holy shit, we're moving. Oh, we're moving. There we go. Oh man, I'm glad I got this all on camera for folks to watch. I got used to that in the damn facility, though. That's something I guess that comes from. Years working for the government, you gotta videotape everything you do for two reasons. One, the government wants to see what you doing, and you wanna tape everything to make sure that you cover your ass in case something goes wrong. You wanna see other people doing things wrong, not yourself. Alright, we let, we let that go a little too soon. We gotta coast a little bit further. Yeah, that's a damn shame. A damn near brainwash in there. Oh, 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 holy jack, stop it! Oh, oh. Damn. It's kind of sad, really, that I can't help myself from stopping filming stuff. I can't even go into the bathroom without bringing a camera in there with me. I know that sounds weird, but they had cameras all over the place in the damn facility. Every damn toilet. Everyone. I feel weird not being on camera now. Alright, hang on. What we gotta do? Well, we'll need a switch remote. Teleport back to the office. Oh, oh my god, they gave me something weird. We didn't even have that when I was working for the government. Oh, that's, that's a nice fine piece of equipment right there. That's same made in Japan. Oh, we switched it. It switched. Now we're gonna be going in reverse, so I gotta watch this and I gotta do this really careful like. Alright, so that's the break this on. Taking that break off. Be schlepping that around just like that. That's just oh yeah. Oh that as far as it can go. That's as far as it goes. Alright. You hold down now. Hold down, Scrappy. We're gonna get over there in a minute. That's right. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Go! Alright. You didn't see nothing, folks. Nobody saw nothing. Clearly, I stopped it in time. Folks, the folks, the folks phoning in here and telling me I got a lot of support. I, I had to have support room for this job. They knew I had 
They knew I had a tough time with, with the Justin here. I got somebody coming in and say they already thought they heard me out on the rails. That's, that's, that's reassuring right there. That means that I got a chance at a future at this. They are rooting for me, I tell you that much. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. Hang on, wait a minute. Wait one damn minute. I got this thing over here. All I had to do was couple it, and now I can't even move it. You gotta be kidding me. Well, fine. Apparently we gotta put a clipboard and a job validator. What in the hell is that? What the sh- You gotta be kidding me. That's how they spit them out? Dang machine. Alright. Navigate your map to find the stations. Alright, apparently the big boss was happy. Take the key to your locker. Take that. Take that. Lock key. Unlock your locker. we look good to go. Now we gotta go ride this damn shitty government access switcher that this company has. I don't care so much though. At least I got a job again. After what happened at that facility I wasn't sure. It wasn't my fault but when you get a half a facility full of people where half of them all of a sudden end up getting eaten by a bunch of mutant crawdads and coyotes. Generally somebody falls to blame. Most of us was lucky to just get out with losing our jobs. We almost lost our lives. I remember poor... Poor Michael. <laughs> there was three crawdads that grabbed him by the legs and they dragged him underneath the water. There was nothing we could do. Alright, bang out one second now, folks. Alright. There's a whole bunch of maps here. This is great. These are like station maps and stuff like that. Shame that facility, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, we had 37 fine employees working there, but after that incident, we had only nine. <sighs> Jesus, thing gets me thirsty already. This is very dry air out here. Let's go to the nearest station. Dang, that was fast. <coughs> Work with all them chemicals in that dang facility too. Couldn't have been good for me. That's I was a soprano before. <laughs> I was a soprano before I started working there. Now you hear that voice of mine. 
All right, let's get this thing on the road. don't you think all right hold on scrap hey hold on I know hang on scrap it hang on all right we're gonna get you some water right now all right there you all right there you go now I spritzed you with some water y'all happy now all right that's a good that's a good scrappy right there all right I think we better learn some of the basics here Let's pick a little job here. What do we got? We gotta do a steel mill. All right, we got a shunting job. Load and prepare our train with steel billets, steel bent plates, and steel sheets for departure to machine factory in town. All right, you know I like that right there. Oh, holy shit. What is all this stuff right here? Unlocks jobs along the trains. Unlock. Oh my goodness, that's what we want right there. Operate compare. Holy cow, look at that. Unlocks a secret vehicle. Step by step instructions on how to operate. Oh, we got one of those things. We have a shovel. Alright, we got a lot of things you can get right there. Okay, so we have to load and prepare our train with steel billets. For the parts of the machine town and factory. Okay. Let's go get this thing started. Couple on track S9. We gotta find out what S9 is. Alright, let's take a closer look. I think I see a white sign down here. Boy, this brings me back to my youth just running across the countryside, jumping over the train tracks, catching crawdads in the pound. Little did I know them crawdads would later become the center of a government experiment during the Cold War. Let's see now. CF-07, SO-4, SO-5. Now that's definitely track, that's definitely track 9, so we're looking for... You know, I bet you they're coal cars. They got, no, that looks like the flat cars to me. Oh, wait a minute. A second here. There's there's eight right there. Mm, there's seven right there. Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? That's a lot of work to be done right there. All right, hang on. We're gonna get all those up to how far back? We need we need one car. We need. We need our second car, we need our third car right there. We need our fourth car right there. We need all four of those first cars right there in track S9. 
to get the heck out of there, and then we can park them somewhere else. And then, then we need to just move them. Couple the couple battling cars at station track. Oh, then we have we have to go over here. Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me? They're trying to be cute with me because this is my first run. All right, that's my that's the car right there. That's not so bad. Load following cars of cargo or track station L6. So that's that's eight. That's eight. That's nine. That's eight, and that's seven. Uh, six is the one that's got to be... Yeah, I know what six is. I think I've seen six on the way in. Alright, I know what I got to do. 